Hey everyone, so you may or may not already have been introduced to AI image generation, but it's a topic that is pretty much trending right now. But what I come here today to show you is the potential of utilizing those tools to generate game UI, you know. In this post that has been posted like six, six days ago on Unity 3D subreddit, we have this guy that, just to give you the answer very quickly, has used the mid-journey AI with the prompt video game UI panel in the style of Hearthstone, and it has provided no search image, he just typed you know, the game UI panel in the style of Hearthstone, and just to be honest, he just used Hearthstone because anything else that he put didn't get, you know, a uh, gaming style. So what's going on here? How can you reproduce it? And by the way, I think that's not even the end because, yeah, he needed to put aspect 4 to 1 because otherwise the, yeah, his images would be squared and for buttons, you know, it's better to be horizontal. So what's going on here? Well, if you've been living under a rock for the last month or so, there has been an outburst of, you know, intelligent image AI generators because they have been, you know, very intelligent very recently. And it all began with Dolly, uh, but we also have Mid Journey. Don't worry about those visuals, those, you know, nightmare fuel visuals. It's just the front here. Their bot on Discord as well is actually much better than this. And Dream Studio, that is actually just a front end for Stable Diffusion. That's the AI behind it. And what's going on with these guys? Well, if I come here and put like, cat in a suit, floating into space, floating in space. We're going to have some prompts here generated. Unfortunately, today Dolly is like experiencing heavy traffic, so we might, I don't know, wait uh, a little bit more for results to appear, but let's just wait a little bit more here. Meanwhile, while it loads, we can see some examples uh, here in the center of the ring, you know, just to inspire you to write some prompts yourself. And yeah, we have been waiting a lot now. I've been waiting for like one minute now. It's not usual to, it's not common to wait like a minute or so, but let me show you some previous results that I've experienced myself, like this one, for example, when I asked for a pixel art background desert style, 16-bit style. And you can see that this, you know, with a few tweaks here and there, you can just reproduce it like uh, a little bit on the right, on the left, and have a, an infinite background, you know. Uh, I have also experimented like pixel art, NFT, woman, full body face forward, white background, 16-bit. And that can be, a, you can make a whole game based on these, you know. And there's also something like flat design of a cute cat holding a brush. I think this one on the right is like the best one that I've generated. But the idea here is that you can expand your mind and not only create some prompts, you know, some usual prompts, but try and create game assets that is, you know. Mid Journey, on the other hand, if you join the beta, you're going to see a Discord bot, you know, unless you pay for it. And I'm going to talk a little bit about their subscriptions models right now and my suggestion do right now in the end. But if I sign in, I'm going to see my last creation, you know, and those here were my attempt to re replicate this Reddit post, you know, but in this case with Zelda style, you know, Zelda styling. And then I've upscaled some of them, you know, I've upscaled this one and, you know, this one makes a nice button here, this one, this one, I can just tweak it a little bit here and there, you know, there is this slack here in this button that I can just fill with a uh, Photoshop or something. But just look at this, just look at how beautiful Mid Journey makes everything, you know. I've just typed video game UI panel in the style of Hearthstone, just like the guy, the initial post and here we have something like very amazing and dream studio in the end uh let me just try to type the same prompt here and see it what it outputs but uh i'm guessing it's not going to be like the the best one so far my experience with this one has been the worst of the three yeah you can see that it's like na nightmare fuel here but yeah ju let's just talk a little bit about the pricing because dolly you know the first one you can see that i just spent a credit here because it has loaded my cat you know most of them are nightmare fuel you know this one seems like <laughs> has seen some stuff <laughs> oh my it's terrible but uh, you know there are even books right now well ebooks dedicated to teaching you how to type in better prompts you know you can see that this prompt is way way less you know sophisticated than this one that i've done you know you can learn it but as i was telling you you can buy 115 credits here on Olive for 15 dollars in my humble opinion that's very expensive right now that's not worth it on mid journey you have a different model you can like pay ten dollars a month to generate close to 200 images a month it's also somewhat expensive but it has a 30 dollar tier pricing where you if you pay it you can generate you know quote unquote infinite 
images uh, throughout your month, but you know, if you go bananas with it, they're going to tell you to relax a bit for like a few minutes or so. Uh, probably that's the best offer right now you can get, but $30 a month is very expensive, especially for those of us who doesn't live in, you know, dollar-based countries. And Dream Studio is much likely, is much like Dolly, but except, uh, you know, it's worse. Uh, but at least you can, you know, expand your, expand your credits slower, because you can only generate one image at a, at a time until you find a, a, an image you like. And, by the way, there's, there's much more than that right now. Even with those tools right now, I can generate variations or edit the image, you know, like if a little bit of in painting, if I want to, to see a... Oh, image, image editing is now in beta, that's new for me. But if I want to see, you know, other eyes, I can just eliminate her eyes here. Well, I, I don't know how it's working right now. But then it would like regenerate it again. I guess it's lagging right now because, you know, heavy traffic. That, that's probably trending a lot right now. Yeah, unfortunately, I, I can't seem to delete her eyes. But also, what a... What I suggest you to do is get close to content creators that are talking a lot about these kind of programs right now. And the best one I've found so far is Matt Video Pro. If you know any other that you think that's better than him or as good as him, please put down below in the commentaries, no for all of us. But through him, I'm learning a lot and I've also learned like on how to do it for free. You know, it's probably going to be the type of video. <laughs> uh, it's a little bit uh, clickbaity, but you know, you can utilize Dream Studio, the Stable Diffusion one. Um, uh, with this GUI uh, here, you can download it and use your own graphic card to run it. Spoiler, uh, it doesn't work that well, you know, because it takes a lot of RAM and it outputs not that good results, you know. Those results are probably very refined already, you know, but you know, you can keep trying and generate infinite ones for free, this. Or you can do this online, but to be honest with you, I haven't even... Th that's the, the first one that I've done and it's too old, you know. Uh, okay, it's somewhat nice, you know, the prompt was, let me show you, it's still generating right now and there has been like more than 10 minutes that I've tried to make it, you know, the prompt was anime key visual of a woman, Greg, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and this type of detailing here with, you know, comma, something, comma, something, uh, is very common with those AI generators, but in the end, my suggestion is simply do not try to make it right now, you know, because I think the headache is not worth it, you can get some nice results like, you know, the one here with Zelda, but you're going to probably have to tweak it yourself. Mid Journey is with a new beta, you know, since yesterday, you know. So my suggestion is like, wait a month or so, but be informed about it because it's going to be a revolution, you know, a real revolution, much more real than NFT were, even though I still believe in NFT's potential for the future, you know. This one's much more palpable, it's much more real. And in the meanwhile, follow guys like Matt Deep Pro. If you know any others, please comment down below. And that's it, guys. If you like this type of content, if you like some, some hacks and some ways to speed up your game development, well, subscribe because this channel is all about it, you know, grow from games here. Uh, there's a reason we have this name. And just a closing thought. Uh, recently I made this video about uh, Unity channels, you know, learn Unity best channels. And some of my S-ranking videos, this one here, I sent an email for people whom I have ranked on S-tier. And I'm very glad that Samian has replied to me. Uh, I'm very glad. Thanks a lot, Samian. You are, you are very, very nice to you. Thanks a lot, indeed. I'm extremely grateful about it. And I'm also very grateful about Coco Code. Uh, let me just open my own video here. Coco Code has replied as well. I I'm very glad that they are replying because, you no, know, uh, it's very nice to feel like a part of this community and if you haven't seen it yet i'm going to put it above here you know like in cards in the description and consider watching this okay and i'll see you soon guys bye bye